Uh, you made a couple appearances on air in WCW before you were introduced as a manager. One was in the Ric Flair reinstatement vignette, and the other was as a martial arts referee for Ring yeah. versus Jim Duggan at Incense. Yeah, wow, what was it? Yeah, that, I, was, I was so nervous, you know, I mean, like I said, especially that match, you know, um, knowing Meng, I mean, Haku is like, you know, he's legitimately the most scariest man in professional wrestling, if it's not that I have experienced. I have seen, I think Colonel Parker was another manager. He 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 had a, a, a managed Ming at one point. And I think we were in Baltimore. And and I remember we went out to eat and we came back and 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 there was a, a police surrounding Ming. And Colonel Parker and his, his whole gimmick was a white hanky waving at the cops, <laughs> asking him not to shoot Ming. Um, you know, um, I see Ming, um, gentlest man ever. I mean, he loved holding my babies my, when my kid would come to, you know, we were all, because we were like a big family at Disney when we were doing Disney TV taping. Kindest man, and, and so is Barbarian. But, you know, they're just scary, right? I mean, you can hit them over the head. You know, they used to break coconut with their head. So you can mace them and they'll look at you. Um, uh, I, 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 and I, I didn't experience this myself, but I do believe it's that incident in Baltimore that I was told, and I don't know this to be true, but the other witness has told me that, uh, that the female policeman had sprayed him with a mace. And Ming snatched that spray from the cop and sprayed himself and gave it back to her. I mean, um, I seen him bending over a guy over like a, a jukebox or something. And I think that was one of the Brian Knobs cousin or something. And 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 you know, he had a, you know literally the, the death grip on this guy. Uh, and and uh um uh, Randy Savage had to calm Meng down and tell him that he's got to go to his room now. <laughs> I, I, I think those guys are great when they're drinking maybe, you know, light beers, but I, you don't want to be around them when they're drinking that, the fire water stuff. I, 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 you know, I mean, he, I, and I believe right now, I think last time I heard, and I'm not sure he still is, but he was a, he, he was a sales manager at the Toyota store in, in, in Florida. I believe he still is. Yeah. Can you imagine now? You buying a car and you're trying to hag with. <laughs> tell your manager. Tell your manager to come out here. I want to talk to him. I want. I want to get a more, I want to get a new carpet in my car. <laughs> if you don't. And can you imagine Ming showing up? I mean, that that would be a scary deal. A lot of people say he would have done well in MMA, but from the stories I hear, he's doing a lot of tactics that would be considered illegal in. Competitive sports. Yeah, so yeah. I was wondering what your opinion is and well, how you would fight in, in, in the real sport. Oh my God, I can't imagine. I, I, you know, your best defense on that is what we tell all our martial arts students is, is to 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 turn and run fast as you can. Because I don't know, aside from having, you know, sharp blades or a firearm, I I, I wouldn't know how you know, because you couldn't hit him with a stick. They'll look at you. You know, those guys break coconut with their head when they were young. So, you know, I mean, he, he literally, I, I think that man would literally rip you in a half with his bare hand. I mean, that was his tactic anyway. You know, every time I seen him, you know, he just grab him, his hands, goes in a guy's mouth and thumb in a guy's throat. I mean, he just grab you and, you know, you're paralyzed at that point. You know, I mean, you, you, you got probably... You know, six and a half seconds before your light goes out. I mean, you know, he's just a scary guy. And you're right, MMA, he, he'd probably be DQ'd. But, you know, it's kind of, you know, I think Ming's attitude is, you know, tell your mama you won. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's, he's a scary individual. 